Varmint Coyote did an amazing first video talking about happiness, and I wanted to just expand on some ideas I had about that. One of the biggest points he made was talking about other people's involvement in your happiness. And I think, to me, it was such a big point because that's something so often ignored when we talk about happiness. It becomes this purely personal thing where you get happiness, right? And it's all about you and you. But I think that idea omits half of the equation, at least, which is that your happiness is based around the people around you's happiness. If you surround yourself with, like he said, people that bring drama and chaos into your life into unprecedented levels, it doesn't matter pretty much if you're like a Zen fucking monk. That's going to bring you down at some point, especially if these are people you've gotten to care about and they always surround you with chaos and drama and everything. It's, it's going to pull you down. It's one of those things that's very difficult in a way to talk about because it necessitates talking about eliminating people from your life in the end. There are negative influences in people's lives. Not everybody has them, but if you do, you need to honestly evaluate that thing, that person, and say, well, is this something that can be fixed to be made better, or am I actually just stringing myself along on a hopeless cause? It's blunt to put it that way, but it's true. Some people don't really want the same kind of happiness that you do. They might be happy being immersed in drama, or they might be happy always having issues with people, or they might be happy being sad. They, that exists. People are comfortable sometimes being sad because it's easier. And I'm not judging the behavior. I'm not even here to really talk about that right now. What I am saying, though, is if you're trying to achieve a certain level of happiness that takes you above those sorts of experiences then having people who are fully immersed in them and thriving on those things will bring you down. It is inevitable. This will happen. So you have to evaluate what does this person bring to my life in a positive manner versus what they bring to you in a negative manner. You must think about it carefully and honestly. Don't give breaks to people just because you've known them for a long time. Unhealthy relationships can persist for decades, potentially. The length of the relationship isn't the important part. The important part is the quality of it. I can't even stress that enough. It's not about the length. It's not about what they can do for you in the moment. It's about what have they done for you and what are they doing for you and vice versa. Is it healthy? If it is healthy, then this is a stepping stone towards achieving your own personal happiness because you have put things around you, people around you, that bring you happiness. Happiness, in a way, is contagious you know, as a mindset. There's a lot of things to it, and I'm sure Varmint's going to talk all about that in his multiple videos, but happiness is contagious. If you are around happy people, you will be happier yourself. If you are around people that are angry, bitter, sad, wrapped up in drama, then it's going to reflect on you in some manner, too. And quite simply, you have a responsibility to yourself and your own happiness to look out for yourself. You need to keep up with what makes you happy and what brings you down. And if someone brings you happiness but also has issues, well, that's its own thing. If they bring you that happiness too, then other things can be worked with. You can accept a lot for a good friend or someone that makes you happy. But if every time you walk away from the encounter, you're just feeling drained and miserable and filled with their problems, and you never feel like they've done things for you, then that could be a source of unhappiness in your own life. You do at some point have to make the judgment calls, and it's not always a happy thing, but it can lead to happiness. If you want happiness, you have to take the steps to make happiness exist in your life. You have to make room for it, and you have to be conducive to it. And there's so many elements to that, but this one element I feel like needed an extra bit of addressing. Just something to think about.